Hello, today I'm going to show you an issue that I ran into uh, in uh, looking at a SIP call, SIP trunk out to a uh, carrier, SIP carrier. Uh, this was a phone system, on, not a UCM, but it was going out to a cube router, uh, SIP trunk to the cube, SIP trunk out to the carrier. Okay, uh, most calls would work fine if, uh, if the call went out, it was answered, and everything was fine. The problem happened when you would get a ring no answer. If nobody answered on the other side, we would get a uh, disconnect. Okay, so this is the way it went. We had a uh, invite come out from the phone system get to the cube router, cube router would send the invite out to the carrier, okay? Nothing wrong there, everything was working fine, okay? Uh, we get the trying message, we get the ringing messages, okay? And then we would get three or four rings, and then the carrier, or sorry, the cube router would send out a cancel, okay? The cause is 102, which is recovery on timer expiry. And then we would also, and then the, the cube sends into the phone system 408 request timeout. Okay. Notice the time. Okay. 1932.02, which is exactly 15 seconds later than the first invite. So I looked all over for this to try to find what the issue could be, okay? Um, at first, I didn't know that it was exactly 15 seconds. But then um, I started looking into the configuration a little bit deeper. And I found this in the configuration and started looking into what these commands were doing, okay? the. So basically what this is doing is it's looking for RTCP packets and making sure that they're going through. And if we get to the interval, which is specified here, of 15 seconds without an RTCP packet going through, then the call would disconnect. It's meant to try and release any hung calls that are in there. Okay, And what it is is it's this. Our IP RTCP report interval of 3000 and the timer receive RTCP of 5. The 5 and the 3000 are multiplied together to get the 15 seconds or 15,000 milliseconds. Okay? Um, and basically, not letting that go through and not letting a hung call stay there. But what that's doing is it's not allowing a call that is um, under most ring no answer timeouts to to go through okay and so and so the call would start to ring 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 and then time out before it even got to the voicemail okay so the resolution was to change the IP RTCP report interval to 6,000. Obviously, you could do the same by do, changing the timer receive RTCP to 10 instead of 5. Both of those would make the, uh, the interval to be 30 seconds instead of 15, which is longer than most uh, ring no answer timeouts. If you want to go longer than that, then just increase it a little bit more. This resolved this issue. Um, they were able to make calls out when there was a ring no answer. They could, um, uh, they were able to leave voicemails and everything was fine. So hope that helps. Um, if you run into this same issue, uh, if it does, please give me a like on the video, subscribe to my channel, and uh, hope to make some more videos for you. Thanks.